Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kick. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he eyes very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it, he will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. This is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So two years, the gap in age with big differences in height and reach. Here once more, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Butcher. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, get into the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to your corners, come out fight. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand. Here. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Nice hook lands. You got him. These guys throwing early. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Nice punch by Lee. Punch coming, it's blocked. He loaded up there on that high kick. Get right here. The under three minutes now to go on the round. Strong. 
strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to get too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is landing. He's landing with so much more. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Oh, hey. so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. Trying to establish that jab once again. Big ball from punch land. Now he gets back to range. And he landed the right hand there. All right, so a nice shot there. To oh! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the grounded pound starts. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of... Oh! better in mixed martial arts than a finish by way of the elbow. It takes a lot of technique, a lot of repetitions in the gym, and you've got to have a lot of confidence in your skills to throw those elbows and try to maximize force over a short distance. Of course, when you land, it can be absolutely devastating, and in this case, it spelled the end of the night for his opponent.
And here we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliante has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 19 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout Butcher. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only... Thank you for watching. Win, Please wait for more videos. See you soon. Time,